And today I'm going to be taking you guys on a day in my life in Rome, Italy as a study abroad student. My legs are shaking right now, but it's so worth it. I'm in my second class of the day. That did not look like gelato. We are at the Chubby Fountain. Hey guys, happy Thursday. It is May 31st. And today I'm gonna to be taking you guys on a day in my life in Rome, Italy as a study abroad student with the EF International Language Campuses. A huge shout out goes to them because they actually sent me to Rome, Italy for two weeks. And for these two weeks, I'm gonna be learning as much Italian and culture as I can. While of course seeing Rome from like a local's perspective. I'm actually staying in a host family, not the EF residence, which is like the dorms. And it's definitely kind of outside of my comfort zone because I am alone um, staying here. And that means I have to get to school alone, which was definitely scary at first. But now by like the fourth day, <laughs> I'm getting the hang of it. Later, I can show you an app that I use to help me with like the transportation aspect of Rome. <laughs> So with every EF school, every day is different. So you might start at 9 a.m. and you might have like three classes um, that day. And then the next day, like today, I'm starting at 12 p.m. and you might have three classes. And I know, I think that like the first day I had four classes, um, well actually orientation and then three. So I don't know, it just really depends. And you get out of school at different times every day. So that's kind of cool because every day they offer like about two activities and I was actually going to go on an activity this morning but we decided to go to the Vatican. It's cool because you can decide to go with the EF tour um, on whatever activity they're doing. I think they're doing a river walk which sounded really cool but one of my friends is leaving this weekend and today was like the perfect day to go to the Vatican because we're going to go super early um, and hopefully we won't wait in lines. <laughs> But at 12, I start class. So hopefully I can show you guys around in the EF building itself. It's actually kind of modern. Like it's in this like traditional Italian building and then you go inside and it's like so nice. So every morning my host family cooks me breakfast, which is so nice because usually I really don't even eat breakfast just because I'm always running out the door and I never like think to eat breakfast. But it's definitely like important, especially if I want the energy that I need throughout the day. So then I'm gonna hop on the train and meet my friend Taylor um, at the EF school and then from there we're gonna take a bus hopefully to the Vatican or like close to there and then we'll walk. So I'm really excited to show you guys my day at EF and please comment any questions you guys have in the comments down below about the program or like about my experience, just anything. I'd love to answer you guys. So let's get started with my day. So I'm about to go to the tram station which is like three minutes from my uh, host family which is really convenient but every morning I wake up at like 6 a.m and kind of have like a little bit of time to like you know play on my phone or whatever but then start getting ready at 6 30 and have to be out the door by uh, 8 8 8 10 is like when i usually get on the tram but since i have to meet my friend at 8 10 at the school i'm leaving at like 7 40 7 30 um so yeah i'm just like leave a little bit earlier just because you really never know <laughs> how long it could take Guess I have to wait for the next tram. So there goes that one. I'm about to arrive at the EF school and meet my friend Taylor. just got to like the area of the Vatican City. We just walked all the way there, but then he said the entrance was all the way over here. Way back over here. <laughs> so, walk in there now. Can't wait to see it. It's gonna be awesome. The entrance of this place is already blowing me away. church and right now we're not in Italy we are in the Vatican. This is gonna sound really dumb but I literally thought this church was called the Vatican so it's actually the St. Peter's Church and this whole place is the Vatican. The Vatican City right? The Vatican City is inside of Rome so we're not in, we're not in Italy. 
crazy. If you come here, you must cover your shoulders. Um, I think people are wearing shorts, so I thought you had to wear pants, but mine are ripped too, so I thought I was gonna get like turned away for ripped jeans, but we made it. So we are now going to the dome of St. Peter's Church and we paid 10 euros to get in and use the elevator instead of walking. <laughs> I guess there's just a few steps for us to walk but it was totally worth it to take the elevator because we are sweating. right here yeah, and she has a Gucci yeah, belt bag it's so cute back down we go I don't know if you guys can see it right now but the line for the St. Peter's Church right there is so long so definitely recommend coming early we are now at the supermarket and we might pick up some lunch here oh cool they have like pasta and everything mm -hmm. they also have a sandwich bar upstairs okay I'm I got a prosciutto sandwich and I got some pineapple juice and we're just eating in this uh, supermarket and we're gonna go to class at 12. It's like, it's 11 11 make a wish. <laughs> Usually like for lunch we'll go to like a small cafe and the prices here are pretty good. Like they're, this is like five euros so I don't really know what that converts to to US dollars but it's pretty cheap for like lunch if you're going to like an actual lunch, like it's like 10 euros or something like that. So it's really not that bad. I thought I would be spending way more money here. 10 euros is 11.58, she just like converted it for me. <laughs> yeah, so it's really not like too crazy. Cause even at like Georgia or like the States, I pay like 15 per, for like per meal or like maybe 20 maximum if it's like dinner, you know? So this is your fourth language, right? Yeah. What else do you speak? Uh, Swedish, English, and Spanish. And so why did you want to learn Italian? Uh, because it's very similar, similar to Spanish. Yeah, that's what and, I think uh, too. Yeah, I thought it would be easiest. Like, I could learn a lot in a month. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's why. And I like Italian. I like Italy, of course. Mm -hmm. I think it's so cool to learn another language. I learned Spanish in middle school. In, was it middle school? Yeah, I think it was middle school and mm -hmm. high school and college. So um, I can like understand some things but like not fluent by any means but I think it's really important to like learn a second language so many people can get their dream jobs just because they're bilingual hey Taylor <laughs> oh, <laughs> a lot of the people that come do this program um, come for their jobs because I guess in other countries like it's not really common to go to university that's what I have gotten from um, in Sweden it's because it's free oh, okay but like, um, I think one other guy was like, it's not very common to go to universities. What their job is, is to like call people from like other countries and stuff like that and like translate, I guess, I don't know. I mean, I think it's really important to like just dabble at least in a second language or another language. Um, great for a resume. Yeah, great for a resume. So this is right in front of the school. And this right here is the building of EF. So we're in the first class called 
communication. And just got out of our first class of the day and now it's time for Taylor to give her leaf speech. So basically I guess you have to like write it all in Italian. So we're on break right now. We have like a 40 minute break so we came to Piazza Novana and it's the one with the poor guy on the fountain. That's what I think of it as. <laughs> so we're in here and I think this is like the oldest or the most popular square. I forgot what my host family told me, but something like that. I think it's maybe the most popular. Yeah, most popular maybe. Um, I know Campo de Fiore is really popular too. It has like a market. We should go maybe. Yeah. Yeah, it has like a market and you can buy like um, souvenir type things. Yeah, yeah. Oh yes, yeah, like definitely. pasta and stuff like that. Having ourselves a little photo shoot in between class. You know how we do. Taylor is getting some fruit at the supermarket um, on the way back to class. We are standing under this AC. <laughs> As you can see, I'm sweating once again. <laughs> but now I have just gotten used to it, honestly. I'm in my second class of the day, and then after this one, I only have one more, and then it's time to explore some more. So we just got out of class, and every day is getting better um, for me, like, like learning it and America, stuff. And you guys are probably thinking, like, obviously you're not going to, like, learn Italian in two weeks. And I'm definitely not going to speak it fluently, but it's just, like, the basic vocab. But if you stay for longer, then you can, you know, become more fluent in it, so depends on what you want to do. Hi guys, I'm Sonali's friend Taylor, and I just want to let you know a few things about EF. It's not just in Rome, you can do it anywhere around the world, a lot of places in, in the United States, in Europe, like we have a friend who did nine months in France and then came to finish her last two months in Italy. You have the option to do a homestay where you stay with a local family and that way you get a lot of the culture and you get to try their food and see how they live. Or you can stay in a residence that is probably just like any other college that you go to. And so it depends if you want to stay with other people from the school or if you want to stay with the family. Taking the bus to the tram. Oh my god. <laughs> we are taking the tram to Trastevere, my favorite place in Italy. She's literally been talking about it this whole time. It's so good. Most of the time when I order a mojito, because now that I'm 21, you know, I have to get it with alcohol. I can't get a virgin mojito anymore. Just kidding, I still can. But anyways, I still like my sugary drinks, but this one's actually really sugary. Um, normally it's like never sugary, and I'm so used to like my virgin drinks, so. Most aesthetically pleasing and yummiest. sleep at dinner because I'm still kind of jet lagged. Jet lag is so real and I'm still not over it four days, five days in. Um, and I feel like when I get used to it, it's gonna be the end of my trip. So my jet lag recommendations are to go to sleep when you're supposed to and not take any naps. I know it's so hard, but just do it and then it'll be better in the long run. I feel like I get sleepy after every meal. So I don't know, just stay away from those naps. About to get in trouble for taking pictures with the. What are these called? Vespa. Vespas. <laughs> Getting gelato. I need a sugar rush. Too sleepy. Hi, can I do samples? 
So I tried some samples of the gelato and honestly it wasn't really that good. So I was just like, okay, bye, thank you. Maybe I just needed like the sweet taste in my mouth because now I don't really want gelato after I've had all those samples. It was good enough for me. So we're parting ways. We're taking our separate tram, trams. Oh my God, I, I can never say that word. <laughs> bye. I just got home, I'm about to take a shower. I don't think I've sweat this much in so long, like just walking around everywhere. But I just quickly wanted to talk to you guys about some things um, about the EF program. So it's funny because I was actually planning a trip to Italy with my dad, um, but then like something work came up for him and so we couldn't go. And then this opportunity came my way. And I was like, what are the odds that like this would happen? And obviously it was an opportunity that I couldn't pass up. But the one fear that was holding me back was being alone in a whole new country like i couldn't even wrap my mind around that i honestly hate being alone more than anything i hate going into like target alone i don't like going to the grocery store alone like i cannot believe i flew to rome italy all by myself i need to start telling myself that i can do anything alone if i like put my mind to it like i did for this trip i just got out of my comfort zone and kind of faked it till i made it if that makes sense when I'm alone, I tend to like put on this confident facade, but it kind of overtakes you sometimes and sometimes you do eventually feel confident. And I'll admit the first day I was so overwhelmed with, you know, the learning and just like all the transportation info, but I just pushed through and kind of did some more research. Got a couple of apps that kind of saved my life, like Move It. For example, I have one called Move It and it helps with the bus and tram transportation and it like has all of the like schedules on your phone so it's really easy to use. As the week goes on, it gets easier and I feel more comfortable here. I definitely am still a little bit homesick. Like the first day I was like, oh my god, like freaking out, like I really miss home kind of thing. But now I'm actually taking it all in, absorbing it and enjoying the moment. It's also really cool because as the week goes on, obviously I'm learning more Italian and I can actually kind of communicate with my host family more, which is cool that I've already seen like a growth in just like four days. I was honestly hoping that coming here would kind of give me like my epiphany that I needed about being like independent. Um, I think like going to an out of state college definitely made me so much more independent than I ever was, but even at my college, I have my friends and I still feel like a baby when I'm there, but coming to a whole nother country alone, like, oh my God, like that's crazy. That's definitely something I never thought I would do. If you guys love traveling or are like me that like kind of want to push yourself to get out of your comfort zone and travel to another country alone and meet new friends here from literally all over the world, and definitely check out the program that I'm on. The link will be in the description below and you can just find out more about the program and I do have a discount code for any program that you choose. It's 10% off if you use the code Sonali in Rome or mention my name Sonali. And again, that's on any program. So definitely check that out. And maybe if you want to book a quick summer trip, then totally do it. If you want to see more of my experience here in Rome and with the EF program, then definitely check out my previous vlog and I will definitely be posting more since I have one more week. I can't believe it's already going to be Friday tomorrow, but I will see you guys in the morning. Hey guys, I haven't started off the vlog today, but I wanted to give you guys a quick tour of the EF school of Rome. So let's get started. So this is just a little area with a vending machine and water, really cold water. I really appreciate that. Right here is the activities board. So I think I put this on my other vlog, but basically you will go with Flavia wow. <laughs> and you'll do all these activities. I thought that I couldn't do one of these activities if I had class, is that true? Or Actually, uh, the fact that we have two activities yeah. is just to give everyone the possibility to do one activity yeah. in yeah. the day. Yeah. Because if you have class in the morning, you can do the activity in the afternoon mm. and. Mm. But if there is a special activity like an Italian guide tour, for example, of the Vatican or of Colosseum, that's an exception. Okay, okay. Just for this. Makes sense. Okay, cool. And this is the hangout part of the place. <laughs> and they have. TV where you can watch music videos and this couch is super comfortable. I just took a nap here. Right here is the information board. So it just has like activities maybe, the teachers. I'm Christina. I'm the school director in Rome from ES. We are in the city center in the heart of Rome through Piazza Navona and the park. And we have plenty of students from all over the world waiting for you to study the Italian culture and this wonderful language. Ciao!
And then back here is all of the classrooms. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the place. And now we're gonna go on an EF tour with Flavia. Let's go. This is the front of the school. And funny story, I swear I saw this little place on Pinterest. I was like, oh my God, that's literally right outside the school. Flavia is gonna tell us where we're going on this tour. Exactamente. <laughs> we are going in Via dei Coronari, mm -hmm. which together with most of the Italian streets as an historic uh, reason. The name yeah. is Coronari like the Corona, which means uh, the, um, the necklace that you okay. bring with you to the, to the mess, to the service. A rosemary? Exactamente. A rosary. Because, rosary, rosary. Because uh, this uh, street yeah. was uh, linked to the Vatican City because it's nearby the Vatican. Uh -huh. And all the pilgrims uh, who went to the Vatican passed by this street to buy a new rosary. Exactamente. So because of this, the name of the street changed in Via dei Coronari. Mm -hmm. Like Corona is the name of the necklace in Italian. Okay, okay. Or Rosario is the same. Uh, okay. Ciao! <laughs> This door is so tiny. <laughs> So we just found out that Volker is a fashion photographer, a makeup artist, and a hairstylist. And I'm asking him where has he been this whole time with our photo shoots. And he's like posing her perfectly, so. Flavia's turn. Perfection, perfection. Honestly, I think you're hustling us, Flavia. You've probably done this in your past, huh? <laughs> We stopped inside this cute bead shop and I actually picked up a few beads, so these are the ones that I picked up over here. I got one black one, one white one, and one of these. They're like sparkly and kind of like purple, but it kind of looks brown at the same time. I just wanted some neutral beads. We are currently looking for a restaurant to eat dinner at and we brought some new friends to eat dinner with. I'm trying my wow. first spritz. I just learned about it today. It like, just nothing. reminds me of like that like awful, sangria. Awful oh, day. you don't like it? No, yeah, it just reminds me of a day that I got like really, really, really drunk. <laughs> and it's just, like disgusting for me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, not not bad. it's not that. Uh, I got a gnocchi al pomodoro. Uh, gli spaghetti al pomodoro. <laughs> I can't eat so much. I'm oh. so <laughs> <laughs> weird. Very good. Oh, you're eating. You're not eating? No. Like nothing? No, no, no. He has I'm not so going to my uh, ah, okay. Because um, at 20 o'clock, um, we 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 eating together and that's the reason. Oh, okay. Like, well, and Tito. You and we are on the hunt for the best gelato that we can find. Let's see if it is here. That did not look like gelato. No, that looked like <laughs> Italian with, ice with or like something. sticky, sticky sugar on top. Like I yeah. don't even know. That was the place. <laughs> Thank you. Five. Got our gelato. I got Oreo and stradicello. I got cookies, Oreo, and dark chocolate. Amazing. <laughs> We're on our way to the Trivi Fountain and look what we just came upon.